Hey, here's a brief story for you. On June 14th, the most controversial politician of our time, Donald John Trump, will celebrate his birthday. In honor of this, we decided to talk about him. The whole world knows the name of the former president of America, but few beyond the states know who he was before entering the Oval Office. Well, let's put on our silly wigs, apply a ton of self-tanner, and get ready to make America great again. Are we starting? The future president was born on June 14, 1946, into the family of the wealthy builder Frederick Trump. His grandparents were German immigrants. Donald has two brothers and two sisters. In his childhood, he was too bold, energetic, and self-confident. Tired of their son's difficult nature, his parents sent the 13-year-old to a military academy. Young Trump enjoyed studying. He actively participated in sports, played in football and baseball teams, received numerous awards, and even became the captain of the cadets. After graduating from the academy, Donald seriously considered going to film school but ultimately decided that real estate was a more profitable venture. He enrolled in the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania, graduated with a bachelor's degree in economics, returned home, and immediately started working for his father. His first major success as a future billionaire was selling a 2 100 unit complex in Ohio. The building had long been owned by his father for rental purposes, but there were no takers. Donald, Investing in modernization and advertising, sold it for $12 million. The net profit from this deal was 50%. So just a couple of years after completing his education, Donald Trump earned his first $6 million. In 1971, Trump moved to Manhattan, where he became the director of the family construction company. His first decision was to change the family business name to the Trump Organization. Manhattan was a paradise for the developer. Donald actively collaborated with New York authorities, securing increasingly larger contracts. In 1978, he started building Trump Tower, which was completed in five years. This skyscraper with the creator's huge name on the facade would become his main residence. The billionaire refused to leave it even when he became president. Gradually, the Trump empire began to expand across the country. He built homes for ordinary people, luxurious hotels, business centers, casinos, and municipal buildings. To outpace his competitors, Donald had to take numerous loans. When an unexpected financial crisis hit in 1989, creditors took the careless builder seriously. Trump simply couldn't repay the loans on time. In 1991, he was on the verge of bankruptcy. American banks reasoned that Donald was unlikely to be able to repay the credit on his own, but he built well and for the long term, so they spread his debt over many years, allowing him to continue construction, but taking almost all of his real estate from personal ownership. Trump stayed in the game and even managed to liquidate a large part of his personal debt of $900 million, significantly reducing the company's debt obligations. But in 2008, a new crisis erupted and Trump had to give up part of his projects again. His company still barely makes ends meet, but he continues to build. Construction is not Trump's only business. His real passion is show business. Donald loves to attract attention, play himself in movies, and participate in various TV shows. He is the organizer of the Miss Universe contest. In November 2013, Trump even brought this contest to Moscow. He interacted with Russian celebrities and promised to build his skyscraper in the center of the capital. He made the same promise a year earlier in Georgia. Interestingly, the buildings never appeared. The billionaire didn't forget about sports. He owned various American football teams, was Mike Tyson's promoter, and for a while actively participated in wrestling. In 2007, Trump even won in the ring and boldly shaved the head of the wrestling mogul Vince McMahon. A lion's share of his popularity, Trump owes to the reality show The Apprentice, which aired on American television for a whopping 13 years. Thanks to it, he received his star on the Walk of Fame. The essence was as follows. 16 people competed for the right to manage another of Donald's grand projects. He placed them in his tower for 15 weeks, divided them into teams, and gave them various business tasks. The winners received pleasant bonuses, and one of the losers always heard Trump's trademark phrase, You're fired. Trump was not oblivious to politics. 
In America, there are two parties, the tolerant Democrats and the conservative Republicans. To become a presidential candidate, one must first win the internal party struggle. Trump had previously run for president as a Republican in 2000 and 2012, but it was part of his eccentric media behavior, and both times, Donald withdrew his candidacy at the early stages. So when he decided to run again in 2015, no one was surprised. He had 12 competitors, including popular senators and even George Bush's brother. None of them took the flamboyant billionaire from TV seriously, thinking Trump would drop out of the race in a couple of months, as usual. All his competitors spent their political energy fighting each other, but when Donald started winning one primary after another, it was too late to do anything. Donald Trump, to the surprise of both parties, became the Republican presidential candidate. Democrats with Hillary Clinton anticipated an easy victory. Trump's support level was much lower than that of the 42nd president's wife. Most showbiz stars were for Hillary. 35 performers recorded a song in her support. Eminem released an eight-minute diss track against Donald, and Madonna even promised oral sex to anyone who voted for Clinton. However, she later said it was a joke, and she had no intention of fulfilling it. Trump was criticized on all channels and online. Only a few celebrities expressed support for him, mostly tough white heterosexuals, Bruce Willis, Clint Eastwood, and even Chuck Norris. The Democratic headquarters tried to play the evil Russians card, accusing Trump of ties to the Kremlin. The FBI took up the investigation of these rumors, but no evidence was found. Instead, Clinton was caught in numerous violations in handling classified documents. Aggressive Democratic propaganda also played a significant role in Trump's victory. TV intentionally blew up any minor incident involving him into a national scandal. But in the eyes of ordinary Americans, who turned out not to be as naive as Democrats thought, it only added charm to him. Donald gained the image of a fighter against the system, relentlessly attacked by almost all media. The result is well known. Trump, to the world's and American surprise, became the 45th president of the United States. Donald Trump showed himself as a strong, not very smart, but persistent global leader who doesn't want to compromise. One of his peculiarities is Twitter, which the president personally manages, making all important statements through the social network. From the first day of his presidency, his own government has been fighting against Trump. Every action of his is criticized and actively discussed. So what did Donald achieve during his years in office? He attempted to repeal Obamacare, but it didn't work. He restricted entry to the US for Muslim migrants, built the long-awaited wall on the Mexican border, although it had little impact on illegal migration rates. He increased job opportunities by one million. He signed a new set of sanctions against Russia, although he noted that the law contained unconstitutional provisions, deployed troops to Syria, and tried to make North Korea abandon nuclear weapons. He recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, to the joy of Jews and the hatred of Arabs. He initiated a small conflict with Iran, making the whole planet clutch its heart and create tons of new memes about World War III. Trump became the third president to undergo impeachment proceedings. The reason was a phone call with Volodymyr Zelensky, in which Donald asked for an investigation against his main competitor in the 2020 presidential elections. During the impeachment trial, Trump broke his record, publishing more than 140 tweets in one day. But since most Senate votes belong to Republicans, on February 5th, 2020, Donald Trump was acquitted and immediately posted a mocking tweet with a video hinting that he plans to be president for a very long time. However, 2020 had many surprises in store for the US, a pandemic and riots, during which Trump's decisions made him even more unpopular in the states. In January, 2023, Trump announced his intention to run for the 2024 elections, aiming to make America great again. In late March, 2023, a Manhattan grand jury expressed its willingness to charge Trump for payments to porn star Stormy Daniels. On April 4th, Trump came to the New York court and was formally arrested. Trump's arrest, despite the formality of the procedure, became the first case of criminal prosecution of a US president in the last 150 years. In February, 2024, 
Forbes estimated Trump's fortune at $2.6 billion. Trump has authored about a dozen books, mostly focused on entrepreneurship and his own success. The businessman has made appearances in episodes of several movies and TV series. We'll all be closely watching Trump's election campaign, and who knows where it will lead. Share your comments as well as a brief history of someone or something else you'd like to learn about.